my name is Anna Fennerty. I'm a librarian at uh, Wicomico Public Libraries at the Sarbanes Branch. And I'm here to show you how to make a 3D cactus take and make craft because we're celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month. So, a cactus grows in the desert and it requires not much water. It's a very resilient plant. And in Mexico, it is believed that is, it is a plant of life. So it's called La Planta de Vida, which translates to English as the life-giving plant. So let's have fun making this craft today. Uh, so let's get started. I have tape. And if you know me, you know I love tape. I have glue. Scissors, just in case, but we don't even need scissors in this crap, but I like to have them handy just in case. Here's our take and make kit. Um, so what we have inside, okay, we have cutouts for, as you can see, we'll make a plant like that. So we need a pot and the cactus itself. So what we want to start with and I find it more fun to start with our cactus. We have four pieces that we're going to fold in half, just like that. So you want to press really hard to make a nice and sharp edge on each of your pieces of the cactus. So when it's folded, it looks like this. And then another piece. Fold it in half, just like that again. And as you're folding, see your cactus is coming to life because when you put these two pieces together, you already have half of the cactus. So we continue until we have folded four pieces. And then we can uh, use glue to either uh, glue these pieces together or tape. And I love my tape, so I'm going to use tape. What I do with the tape is I kind of um, twirl it in a loop like that to make it double-sided. And I will put a piece of tape right here to this part of the cactus on the top so it holds the top together and I will attach the other piece. And now they are staying together. And I will continue like that with the rest of my cactus walls. So here's a third one. And now I need one more right here. Okay. And here's our 3D cactus already standing on its own. That's pretty amazing. But I want to put it in a nice cute pot to make it even cooler looking. All right, so here is here are the pieces for our pot. We have a little circle with these little tabs sticking out. And we have the wall of the pot which is going which we are going to fold this piece into like a little tube. So we fold it together just like that. There's a little piece right here that will overlap. As you can see, it has like little um, lines. So you will fold it all the way to, to this line. And then again, you can use either glue here or tape. So for the purpose of this video, I'm using tape because sometimes with glue, you're just going to have to wait a little bit for the glue to set. So I have my the wall of my little pot right here. And eventually I will put my cactus inside of it. Look, it's already fitting to get nicely together. But I want to I want to have a bottom so my cactus doesn't fall out of it. So what I do with the with this circle of tabs, I'm going to fold the tabs to the inside, just like that. And move this cactus out of the way so you can see it. And we are going to fold all these tabs because you're going to help us attach the bottom to the sides of our plant pot. 
And also, just so you notice, there is a little um, cross marked on the inside because this is exactly where we're going to where we're going to glue our cactus after we assemble the pot. But let's start with this. So you will just need to try to fit all these tabs inside of the wall of your pot just like that. Once they are inside, you can use tape to tape them either on the inside or if that's too difficult, you know, don't worry. We can always tape them on the outside, just like that, to make the bottom for our beautiful pot for our cactus plant. All right, so I'm going to just tape them on the outside. And voila, I have a little pot. And now I'm going to put my cactus inside. Again, I'm going to try to put the, uh, align the bottom of the plant with the little cross inside, just like that. And then use maybe like four pieces of tape to hold it to the bottom of the plant, planter. Two or three, whatever it takes, or just use glue on the edges of your plant. So it seems like it's staying in. Now, this is the, the most fun part. We're going to, we get to decorate our cactus plants. So I have little flowers here. Again, you can do it with glue or even stapler or tape. So you'll take a little flower. You can tape it like right here because some cactuses grow. Oh, sorry, I said it wrong. Wow, and that's okay because we make mistakes. Actually, plural of cactus is cacti. So whenever you talk about multiple cactus plants, you will use cacti, kind of like octopus. Octopus and octopi, that's the plural. So just have to be careful, but it's okay if you make mistakes. All right, I have another flower. So maybe I will attach another flower to my cactus right here somewhere on the other side. And guess what? At the very end of this craft, to make my cactus extra beautiful, I'm going to attach a little sombrero. And a sombrero is a Mexican hat. And we will give you a little bit of information about sombreros at the end of this video. So stay tuned. But I want to put this sombrero right on the top of my cactus right here. And one more fun fact for you about, sombre about uh, cactus is that in Native American cultures, cactus symbolizes mother's love because cactuses, cacti are so resilient and last and can live for a long, long time. That's why they are used as a symbol for motherly love. So have fun making your little cactus and Decorate it with whatever you wish. Okay, now that we finished our craft, don't forget to come to the library. Check out beautiful books we have by uh, Hispanic authors and even in Spanish. So you can learn the language if you like. Or if it's your native language, you could have fun reading these books. We have also Vox books, which are books that you can press the buttons and they will play for you. And some of them are biling bilingual um, in Spanish and English. All right, have fun making crafts and don't forget to come to the library to check out our fabulous books. And if you, if you would like to, you can take a picture of your craft and share with us on Facebook or email us at the library. 
and we'll post it on Facebook. Thank you. Every Hispanic country has a version of a sombrero. In Mexico, it is very colorful, woven straw, and makes a wide brim. The point of a sombrero was when you are working in the fields to keep the sun off your head and your shoulders and your neck. In Puerto Rico, the sombreros are made out of coconut palm leaves woven together and the edges are not smooth like as in the Mexican sombrero.